Okay, so now that we've had a chance to look at these three different types of traps, we've got a, a few other considerations that you may want to look at when considering what you're going to do with your particular surveillance program. First of all, with the Gravid trap, um, the cost on this trap is around $150, so it's not uh, terribly expensive to purchase. It is going to be much more effective against Culex pipians and uh, some of the other species that may want to use that heavily organic water. It's not going to be a great trap for catching your nuisance mosquitoes, floodwater types, or Culex tarsalis. So you may need to be in, in some very specific locations uh, to make the, the Gravid trap one that's going to work well for you. The New Jersey trap is a little more expensive to purchase in the beginning. You're looking at about $300 to $350 to get that New Jersey trap up and running. However, it's an extremely easy trap and extremely cheap to operate. You're basically looking at the, at the cost of lighting a light bulb uh, during the night. Oftentimes you can even get citizens to put these in their yard uh, as, a, uh, as a service to the, the, uh, the mosquito control effort so that uh, you have uh, free electricity to run that trap. Then basically you have no cost after the uh, initial cost of purchasing the trap. The uh, CDC trap is one that uh, again is around $100 to purchase so not terribly expensive to get it up and get it going. Uh, you'll have some extra cost in purchasing the, uh, the cooler and, and some of the other apparatus to make it set up like ours is. Uh, the, the main cost in operating the CDC traps, though, is in baiting the trap on a nightly basis. It could be as much as $5 a night to supply the dry ice for the attractant for that CDC trap. So that may figure in in, in your, your calculations of what trap you may want to use and, and how to budget for that surveillance system. So a little more expensive to operate uh, down the road. The Gravid trap and the CDC trap are both extremely portable. They're battery operated and you can take them and use them just about any place you want to. The New Jersey trap is going to require a 110 volt power source, so you have to hang it someplace that you have access to electricity. So we have a variety of traps, we have some differences in what they do and what they are capable of. You can find some other resources. The uh, CDC website has some great references as far as traps, um, surveillance systems, and, and how to put those things together. Uh, you may want to check those for, for additional resources. And uh, that's our trapping rundown for today.